So this is a T800. What I did is I removed the lining in the semi sleeper. You can see here the sleeper. Uh, this is the plastic that's actually uh, covers the diamond backing that's right there. This is the side that you do not see with the buttons. So what I did is I made a template for the Rec Pro um, AC unit. I'm trying to get it straight, but the problem is some of the the roof, if you can see the fiberglass molding, isn't exactly square. So I'm trying to get it right now to where it looks square on the inside of the truck and outside of the truck. I can kind of jimmy it around in the hole after I get it done, but I just don't want to get it too far away. So right now I'm just trying to fine tune it. That's what we're doing now. So anyways, that's an update what it is. So I made this template based off of the bottom of the Rec Pro AC unit. And it's obviously, well, I shouldn't say obvious because you guys haven't seen it, but the back of the AC unit is 12 and a half inches longer. So I wanted to make sure it's not going to stick off the, the back of the sleeper or too far in the front of the sleeper. So you can see the lines that are about two and a half inches in that goes around. That would be what you, that line represents the, the shroud or the vent that's, visible on the inside of uh, the sleeper. So that I make sure I don't get it too too close to this molding when I put it on. My other issues I'm gonna have here is I have a light that's right in the middle of that AC unit. I know you're gonna say, well, what's the big deal? Well, there's speakers on the either side of it. Well, the big deal is that I gotta take the light out. Now there's gonna be a hole either side of the air conditioner that I got a dummy lights or speakers or something you see what I'm saying because there's where the speakers holes are at obviously there's no speakers there but that's where the speakers would go and then that light right in the middle so I gotta try to fucking well sorry bleeped it out sorry about that